guys welcome back to data with dominic and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to use the average aggregate function available to us in PySpark, which basically allows us to calculate the average of a particular column a uh, numeric column in a data frame in PySpark. so let's dive into the demo as you can see i've got my uh, databricks community edition set up a link to a video of mine in the top right hand corner of your screen where you can uh, follow along to set up your own Databricks Community Edition, so you can use PySpark for free. Uh, but yeah, carrying on with the demo, what I've done so far is basically I've just um, uh, loaded a CSV file, some a sample CSV file into a data frame, and then just displayed it here so that you guys can get an idea of the data. It's very simple. It's just some student details with uh, 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 employee details with uh, a salary column, and we want to calculate the this average salary of this particular organization right so uh and here what we're doing is just basically since it's being imported from csv everything's of uh, data type string we want to convert salary to integer just so that we can uh, use the average function on it because it doesn't work with uh, string types obviously it's a numeric function and yeah once we've converted uh the the salary to uh, a data type of integer a float uh, we can then get into finding the average. So first thing we need to do is from pyspark.sql.functions import average. Just like with other aggregate functions like the sum, you need to import them in some instances. But it's safer to just always use the pyspark.sql.functions import star before you start any pyspark work. So you're basically covered on, with all these functions. But if you haven't, you need to import average. And then it's very simple to use it. You just need to uh, hit um, basically uh, you can use a select or you can use a with column or something depending on how you want to incorporate the average but if it's just to view the output uh, you can use a select and you basically call uh, the data frame on which you want to work and then you would do a dot select and inside the uh, brackets of the dot select you can give an average and then uh, inside the parameters of the average in double quotes you can mention the column that you want the average to be found for and then you can do a dot display or a dot show and you should then get the average of the salary column. So that's how it works. Just to show you this is live data. You can see that's what it is. So it's a very simple aggregate function to use, but very powerful. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.